Hi, I'm Mario Scordato with The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make some perfect sushi rice. All right, so we're going to start with our rice here. This is our sushi rice. It is a short grain rice, so it's kind of oval in shape and a little bit smaller than what we may used to be seeing with like a jasmine or long grain or basmati. The first step in making our sushi rice is we're going to wash it. So we're going to start with some cold water. And we're really going to get our hands in here and agitate the rice very aggressively. We want to get all the starch and the what's called talc out of the rice. Now the reason we need to remove that is it is going to inhibit the stickiness that we can get out of our rice. And we want some really nice sticky sushi rice. Once the bowl is filled up, we're then going to just gently pour out the water. So we get all of that out. And then we're going to repeat that process about three times. And we're going to keep doing this till our water is nice and clear. Now that our water is nice and clear, we're going to just pour a little bit off. We need to make sure that the rice stays covered. We're now going to let it sit and soak. That's going to be our second step to making our sushi rice, is letting the rice soak. This is one of the very important steps because now we've already introduced some water to the rice, but it all has a very different water content. So when we let it sit and soak, it's all gonna soak up as much cold water as it can, and then it's all gonna have the same water content, so it will all cook very evenly that way. All right, now that we've got our rice nice and soaked, we can see the grains are all plumped up just a little bit and, and solid white. So this is what we started with, this is what we end up with after we soak it. Now that we've got our rice soaked, we're going to go ahead and cook it. So I'm going to place it in my pot here. I did strain off all of the, or poured off all the soaking water. We're going to level out the rice, and now I'm going to add some fresh water to this to cook it. Now to get the proper amount of water, I'm actually going to place my hand in here and pour the water in until it just comes up above the first knuckle of my first finger. Just a little bit more. All right, that's the perfect amount. Now I'm gonna place this on the range. We're gonna start it on high heat. Now that our rice has come to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on we're going to turn our burner down to low, and we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. Once our timer for 15 minutes goes off, we're going to turn the burner off and let it sit for an additional 15 minutes. Now that we've got our rice cooked, we're going to go ahead and mix it with our sous. Now the sous is a mixture of rice vinegar, sugar, and a little bit of water. I'm going to get my rice out of our pot here, and I'm just using a large salad bowl. It's going to give us plenty of room to mix and help us cool this down a little bit. Now I'm going to add the sous, and I'm just going to gently pour it over my little rice spoon here. If you don't have one of these, a wooden spoon will work just fine. Get all that in there. And now I'm going to mix that sou into the rice. We want to be as gentle as we can. We don't want to crush the rice or break it up. But we do want to get that sou mixed evenly around. So it will both flavor the rice and be part of the, uh, the mixture that will hold this rice together. All right, and there you have perfect sushi rice.